Hello everyone, Steve here with a new clock that I just finished designing. This clock adds a moon phase dial that tells you when the, the moon shifts from a full moon to a new moon and then from the new moon back to the next full moon. The moon phase is accurate to about one day every two and a half years. Uh, the rest of the clock is as accurate as any of my other clocks. A minute or two per week is pretty typical. The new feature with the moon phase dial was quite interesting. It, it starts by adding a new gear with a moon picture on it. As the moon rotates through a 29 and a half day cycle, it changes from a, a new moon to a full moon and back to the next new moon and then the hidden moon comes up sh showing the the next cycle. The actual time between full moons is 29.53 days but to, to get the gearing to be done in a with a reasonable number of teeth on the gears uh, that 29.53 days is rounded down to 29 and a half so point, point oh 0.03 days of error accumulates every 29 and a half days. So that's what gives the moon phase an accuracy within one day every two and a half years. A, a moon phase dial is fairly common in a grandfather clock, but it's often placed above the main dial. On this clock and um, on almost all of my wall-mounted clocks, I like to keep the escapement very prominently displayed. So it didn't make sense to put the moon dial up top because that would block most of the view of the escapement. And I figured out a way to put it right here in the center of the main dial. I'm going to show the new gears that were added that were that, that was a little bit of a challenge to design without making this clock really thick. The new moon phase dial is powered off of the hour hand gear which is already really close to the front of the clock and if that is going in front of that that was a challenge to design it without growing the clock so that it would be really thick. The trick for making that happen is right here, the moon phase dial is sandwiched between the, the two halves of the frame. Behind the dial, the, the moon phase dial, the, the gear teeth do stick into the main dial a little bit. So the dial had to be made a little bit wider in order to make room for these holes for the standoffs right here to support the the front dial uh, to support it off of this pillar that runs off of the the back frame the gearing for that is is shown in this diagram in the manual this moon phase dial runs off of the hour hand the hour hand rotating once around every 12 hours. This moon phase dial wants to rotate once every 59 days. So there's 118 to 1 ratio between the hour hand and the moon phase dial. The last tricky challenge was how to add a friction clutch. Now there's two friction clutches in this clock. One allows you to change the time and then there's a second friction clutch which is right here. The friction clutch allows the, the moon phase dial to rotate past this gear and in order to make that happen this gear, the, the, the friction clutch is actually underneath the intermediate gear between the hour hand. Uh, you can see this one is between the hour hand and the minute hand. 
this second friction clutch is behind it where there was plenty of space and that allows the moon phase dial to be changed without touching the, the main hands. So right now it's about a day before the, the next full moon. So I'll adjust the, the moon phase dial to about a day early. By tomorrow, this will be at the full moon position. And there you go, the clock is running again and should be accurate within about a minute or two per week. This clock should be available soon on my mini factory and I'll, I'm also starting to release my clocks on printables. I decided to release this clock with just a classic Roman numeral dial and there's a couple of different options for the moon. Now, a couple of the files include what I call test cookies and you can, there's a, a full 3D image of the moon or what I call a flat image of the moon and you can play around with the layer heights on where you change from the black layer to the white layer to get essentially a grayscale for a couple of different looks on the moon. So you can print these test cookies, figure out how you want the, the moon dial to look.